Cleaning and sanitizing equipment is a crucial activity for PSR compliance. And when combined with worker training and good organization, you can ensure your farm is running safely and smoothly. Whether you are streamlining or just starting your sanitation program, keep the following in mind for food safety success. Identify and prioritize equipment. Breaking surfaces down into sanitary zones can help you prioritize what needs the most frequent cleaning and sanitizing, with zone one at highest priority. You'll also want to clean other zones like zone two and zone three on a less frequent basis to reduce the risk of germs hiding in these areas and transferring to zone one surfaces. If you aren't sure how to identify zone one, think about what your product touches from the field to pack out, what's used for harvesting, where produce is staged, if it gets washed or sorted, and how it's packed. Devise your cleaning and sanitizing method. Cleaning and sanitizing achieve different goals. Cleaning is the act of removing dirt and organic material from surfaces, and sanitizing is the act of applying a chemical or heat to inactivate microbes attached to the surface. Think about how you can clean your equipment and tools based on material type and construction. Decide if you can clean effectively or if you need to use a liner or phase out the tool. To clean, consider if items need to be taken apart and washed or soaked, or if you need special brushes to reach the crannies. Remember, cleaning always comes before sanitizing, and skipping steps on dirty equipment to only spray sanitizer will not kill surface-attached microbes, regardless of concentration. Make sure your sanitizer is approved for food contact surfaces. Read the label to figure out what concentration you need and application instructions. Use measuring tools and PPM strips to ensure you are mixing precisely. The wrong concentration can cost you more money, damage your equipment, and harm your workers. Train workers on sanitizer mixing and cleaning methods and how to log their activities in an electronic or paper record. Schedule with normal operation. Deciding when to clean and sanitize will depend on what you use your equipment for and how it accumulates soils. You'll find some items should be cleaned before each use, some between different activities, and others weekly or monthly. Use your operating schedule to plan these activities efficiently. Start with all equipment cleaned and sanitized at the beginning of the season, and during the season you can break apart cleaning and sanitizing into separate events if items are stored clean before being sanitized. To integrate cleaning methods efficiently in farm operation, know what your food contact surfaces are, Decide a cleaning and sanitizing method and schedule that works for you, and store items dry. For more help on cleaning and sanitizing and compliance to the PSR, check out our other videos on specific farm equipment. All links provided throughout the video will be included in the description. If you have any questions about this video, the produce safety rule, or how to implement food safety practices on your farm, please contact your local extension agents or produce safety experts at the University of Maryland.